Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are having an amazing week so far. I have a super exciting video for you today. If you couldn't tell by the title, it is a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I am so excited about this. I have not purchased yarn much at all in the last several months. I feel like earlier this year and a lot last year, I was doing hauls kind of frequently, um, not every week, but you know, at least a few times a month, where now I don't think I've done a dedicated haul video in months. And that's so crazy, but we just had all kinds of stuff that we needed to spend our money on this summer. And um, so, you know, the yarn buying went on a back burner, which is good sometimes, but it was super fun to go to Hobby Lobby and grab some of these yarns. So I heard a rumor that there was some clearance yarn at Hobby Lobby, um, I think Affordably Crafty with Kim, um, or Kim from Affordably Crafty. <laughs> uh, she had mentioned that some people were saying, incredible sources were saying that there was a dye lot clearance going on. Um, but then I hadn't heard many other people talking about it, and I had a little bit of time to run into Hobby Lobby before church last night just to check and I only had a few minutes and at first I was just glancing I didn't see any orange stickers in the aisles at all and so I was kind of bummed I was like man because I just don't get the opportunity to go in there now that I'm working as much as I used to so I'm like man I missed my opportunity I'm probably not going to get a chance to go back um, and it'll, if they do have the clearance then they'll probably sell out of all the clearance so anyway um, but then I kept walking and saw a section of yarn at the back of the yarn aisles and saw some orange stickers. Now, I will say, um, I don't know if this is part of the dialogue clearance or if this is just yarn that they clearanced out for whatever reason. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, I didn't talk to any of the employees while I was there, but clearance yarn and clearance yarn, whatever it is clearanced out for, right? <laughs> So, um, you know, the options were very limited. There really wasn't much. It was just a little section, maybe about three feet wide and maybe three rows tall, but it wasn't full. It was just random, different skeins. Um, you know, if it wasn't on clearance, this really isn't yarn that I would necessarily pick up at full price unless I had a specific project for it. But the fact that you know, the clearance, it's like 70% off. So a lot of these skeins were anywhere from 99 cents to $1.50. Um, and I made sure I only chose the ones I knew I would like and could make something out of. Um, so I am happy with what I got, don't get me wrong. But it's just, it wasn't like it has been in years past where I've went and like found some of my favorite yarns on clearance, if that makes sense. I am excited to try some of these though, because there are a couple new ones to me. So let's just get started. And let me know, have, has your Hobby Lobby had clearance lately? Um, I would love to know. I'm very interested. I also am a little nervous that like, is the clearance yarn at Hobby Lobby gonna go away at some point? Because that was such a big thing every year. And then with the whole yarn reset, like, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that this big clearance is coming to an end um, within the next year or so. Okay, so the first one is one I've never tried before. Um, it is by Yarnby, which is one of Hobby Lobby's brands, and that's all they carry anymore is just the I Love This Yarn brand and um, Yarnby. Um, not sure if there's any others, but they only carry their own brands. But I really love Yarnby yarns. Um, I've pretty much loved every one that I've tried. So I'm happy about that. This is very soft and it's called Chain at Reaction. Let me know if you all have ever used this or seen this or tried this before because I don't remember seeing this. Um, and obviously you can see it sort of has that chain look. So I don't really know what I would make with this, but I thought it looked super interesting. I really liked the dusty purple color. It's called Hazy Plum. Uh, this is a, I believe a five weight yarn. Yes, a five weight, 100% um, acrylic. It's 131 yards and it was $1.12 down from $4.49. So again, very, very soft. When I first looked at this, I thought that's going to be like a stiffer yarn. But once I picked it up, I'm like, wow, that's really soft. Um, 
So, you know, one skein like this, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. I'm thinking it would make a pretty cool looking beanie. I just have to find the right pattern for it because it has so much texture to it. Okay, and then the next one is a baby bee. It is Sweet Delight Chunky. So I've used the Sweet Delight before, but not the Chunky version. And this is a five as well. It's 109 yards, 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide. It is $1.24 down from $4.99. And this is the color naked. <laughs> So, didn't expect that. Um, I mean, I can see why it's called that because it's just a light color, but you know. Um, so, there is a pattern on this for this child scarf there. I obviously don't have enough for that, but again, I just think that this would be a great beanie yarn. <laughs> or, you know, I could, I did get a few chunky yarns, so I could combine some and make like a bag or something. I don't know. I have all kinds of ideas running through my head, but right now I'm just thinking beanie weather. I've mentioned before, but I do car duty in the mornings at school where I work. So I'm out there for like close to 40 minutes and I'm going to need to be bundling up this winter. So I just keep thinking beanies. <laughs> okay, at first I thought that this one was the same thing as that one um, when I saw them on the shelf. But this is a Yarn Bee Tender Touch um, in the color Fleece. This is $0.99 cents down from $3.99. It is 135 yards, 100% ac acrylic, and a five weight. So very, very similar to that baby bee. Let me hold these together and see if there's much of a difference in the way they look. There we go. Tell me what you think. I mean, I see a slight difference, but they are very very similar. This one might be a little more yellow toned, if that makes sense, with where this one's a little more white. I don't know. Let me know what you think. That's pretty interesting to me. And then I am pretty excited about these. This is a yarn that I have eyed several times. I think it's very, very pretty, but it's just not one that I wanted to spend the full price on um, because I just didn't know for sure what I would use it for. And that is the Yarn Bee Velvety Smooth Sparkle Yarn. So it is um, velvet yarn, but with sparkle in it, of course. And I think it's so eye-catching and so pretty. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what I would make with it. What If you've used this, what have you made with it? I do have three skeins in three different colors. Um, they are very, like, wintry colors. I do like how those look together. Um, so anyway, this one is the color purple. This one is teal green. And then this one is navy. And the sparkles are very vibrant in this. I really like that. Um, so $1.24 down from $4.99. Um, these are 161 yards. So decent yardage i think 94 percent polyester and six percent metallic polyester um it's a size four so yeah let me know if you've used this before and what you thought of it um again i think those are so pretty together i did you know think maybe a sparkly amigurumi of some sort if i found the right pattern um i also wonder what this would look like as a beanie but i have tried to use velvet yarn as a in a beanie before and didn't love the outcome of it so i don't know i need ideas so this is one that i am really excited about i love the i love this yarn regular worsted the chunky all the kinds of the i love this yarn it is very soft and very nice um and this is a dollar 24 down from 4.99 it's the color heathered brown I just thought that would make a really pretty beanie as well. And it is 109 yards, 100% 100 acrylic, um, and a five weight. I do have these other chunky yarns that are very, very comparable in how they feel and um, the size of them and everything. So maybe I will combine them in some way. I don't know. We'll see. I also have other chunky yarns that are very similar from previous um, clearance events 
that I could pull in and make a bigger project with. Okay, I was thinking that I had gotten two of those and I was like, where did the other one go? I guess I didn't and I did just find it. So I do have two of these. Um, so yeah, that opens up the possibilities a little bit more. And the last two things I'm also very excited about. Um, as I said, you know, even though these are yarns that I necessarily wouldn't have picked out and bought, um, you know, that's one good thing about yarns being on such a great clearance is that you will pick up yarn you necessarily wouldn't pick up before and maybe you end up loving it. Maybe you don't, but the loss isn't that much if you're only paying a dollar and some change for it, um, but you might find some yarns you really love. So the school system that I work for, the mascot color is um, like a emerald green. And so when I saw this there, I was like, I have to get this one, obviously, because that is very close to the school's color. There are some other colors incorporated in here, like some lighter greens and a little bit darker. But this one right here, that medium color green is perfect. So I got two of these. Now, as you can see, this one has obviously been rewound into a ball. So not sure if the whole skein is here or what happened to this. And I debated getting this one. I kind of went back and forth. I put it back a few times, picked it back up. But in the end, I thought, you know what? How frustrating would that be if I like started making something with this, needed just a little bit more and didn't have it? And how happy I would be that I got this if that was the case. <laughs> so I tried to play it smart there. These are $1.49 from $5.99. So happy with that. Um, this is the Dream Spun Meadow Dream. Now I have used Dream Spun before. Um, I didn't realize actually that this was Dream Spun. I do have, um, hmm, I don't know where it is right now, but I've used Dream Spun before, but I've never seen this color. Um, I don't know if I said it. It's in the color Meadow Dream. It is only 76 yards, so I'm super glad that I picked this one up. It is a five weight. I would have thought maybe that was almost a six weight, but I guess it's not. It's not as thick as I thought. 80% um, acrylic, 20% super wash wool. I didn't realize there was wool in this either. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so that is the last one, but I am excited to try those out as well. I'd love to know, did you find any clearance at your local Hobby Lobby? Um, should I go back in a couple of days and see if they have put out more clearance. Do you think that this was part of the dye lot sale? I really have no clue <laughs> and I'd love to know if anyone has more info on that. But of course I'm very excited for clearance yarn um, no matter what the case um, and I was surprised to find it. Oh one more thing that I forgot I don't have it with me but they have these like interlocking foam tiles on sale too. Um, they were from $12.99 or something like that down to $6.49. And so I picked some of those up because I heard you could block on those and I don't have a blocking mat. So I bought those. Um, it's nine squares and it's not as big of a square as I thought it was going to be, but I'll definitely be able to block some items on there. So I'm very happy about that. So with the $6.49 for that, um, the yarn, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skeins, and then the two candy bars, which which added up to two fifty. Um, we were at twenty. I was at twenty four seventeen after tax. So you minus the candy bars off there, about twenty one and some change um, for all the yarn and for the the blocking mats. It's not really what it's for, but you know it'll work. So. <laughs> I think that's awesome um, and it was just fun to do a haul for you guys so I hope you enjoyed it um, I have another little Michaels haul to share with you sometime um, coming up so stay tuned for that if you enjoy hauls and then the Bible and then the Bible verse I want to share with you today is one that was our every time I go to say this my dog starts barking Okay, let's try that again. So this verse was from our Vacation Bible School this past summer. It was our memory scripture for the kids. And I just, I really like this. I was kind of looking for what scripture I was going to share with you. And I found this BBS paper. Um, 
and it reminded me of this verse and it's a great one. So it's Psalm, they're all great, but you know. Okay, Psalm 25, four, make your ways known to me, Lord, teach me your paths. And man, isn't that a prayer that we all need to pray? So often we go through life and, you know, try to do things by ourselves, or think we have the answers or go our own way. Um, we forget sometimes, I know I do, to pray to God and ask him advice for things and um, how to go about living in his will and honoring him. And, um, you know, we can read or hear the Bible all day, but if it doesn't get down into our hearts and we don't live it out, then what good is it doing, you know, in a way? Um, so I think that this verse is a great reminder that we need to be praying to God to show us which way to go through all aspects of our lives and to teach us how we can live for him in a way that pleases him and um, remember that we need that guidance um, we weren't made to do it alone we were made to be in partnership with god um, and fellow brothers and sisters in christ so i'm just thankful for you guys i pray that you have an amazing rest of your day an amazing rest of your week and I will be coming back soon, sometime this weekend, probably Sunday, with a Everything I Crocheted This Week video. So until then, I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you super soon in the next one. Bye!